I look like I'm trying to take a <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me telling you things that I hate. I have done a video like this before really really early on in my channel. It was my pet peeves where the audio was shit and the video quality was shit. So if you're going to go watch that just try and ignore that we've improved so yeah if you want to watch that if you can get through the bad audio and the bad quality then i'll put it on a card around here somewhere and you can go watch that today i'm going to be doing things i hate like i told you before because i do hate a lot of things and it's kind of like me venting to you guys because you're my friends and i don't know i just want to i want to talk to you guys and yeah like get it off my chest so yeah that is what i'm going to be doing today if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed the button's just down there if you wanted to i upload videos every single week and it would just mean a lot to me if you were to subscribe to my channel and yeah let's get on with the video so i have got a list of stuff on my phone and we're gonna get started okay so something that i hate is something about radio shows now i listen to bbc radio one in the morning with nick grimshaw i freaking love him so much i just want to be his best friend but yeah i listen to that in the morning and when i say this is something that i hate i'm not talking about his show because he doesn't do it it's more the saturday shows like capital fm heart fm radio one so just don't think it's grimy because it's not so yeah what i hate and i'm gonna read it off my phone when radio stations and music channels don't play the whole song so by this i mean they play the song on the radio or music channels and they cut it off when there's a minute left. They cut it off, they start talking and they're like, so that was Paris by the Chainsmokers and I'm just like, it didn't, f it didn't finish. Do you know what I mean? Like if you listen to the radio a lot, you'll get what I mean. And it frustrates me so much, especially when it's one of my favorite songs. Someone did it for Run Up by Major Lazer and Nicki Minaj and I, I was so angry. But yeah, someone did it for that song and I was so upset because I love that song. I'm getting a bit fed up of it now because I play it too much. I do that with music, I'm so annoying. But yeah, let me know in the comments if this annoys you as well because hopefully it's not just me. So the next one I have written down is when you're listening to music and every time the insert moves, so the insert, oh, I don't have an example. I'll put a picture of it here. Every time that bit moves in the phone, like, in this bit the music muffles and you kind of have to like twist it to get it to the right sound like so if you have it facing that way it muffles but if you have it facing this way it doesn't so you have to try your best to like keep it this way it is so annoying i don't know if it's just my earphones maybe i need to get some new ones but it's definitely happened to me in the past with other earphones that i've had and it is so frustrating like i i just want to listen to good music that doesn't muffle so my next one relates to the last one I just told you and that is when you plug in your iPhone and your charger breaks but it doesn't fully break. I have an example, this one's not broken but it, but the last one I had did. So you have this and you plug it in to your phone like this, plug it in like that and there's these chargers that has to stay in a certain position so like the head bit and the wire needs to stay in a certain position so you keep like moving it around to get into the right position i am so bad at explaining things if you couldn't tell so if you understand it then good but basically like it needs to stay in a certain position and you literally just can't hold your phone while it's charging because obviously you're moving your fingers you're typing doing whatever and this is just gonna move because you're moving the phone so it's just so annoying and i don't it, it's always the apple chargers like it's never the like this isn't this obviously isn't an apple charger i've had apple chargers before that have always done it so i imagine this one's quite a common thing that people hate and it's when you're kind of, you're, you're just in a crowd of people walking straight and they stop the people in front of you just stop to get something out their bag to tie their shoe to look at the map in the underground or something like that the reason i say to look at a map in the underground is because it happened to me a couple weeks ago when i went to london and it really annoyed me if you're gonna stop in the middle of a walkway turn around to see if there's anyone coming if there isn't then yeah fair enough you can like stop there but if there's people coming and it's a crowd of people you can imagine in the underground or a shopping center there's like a swarm of people turn around see if there's anyone there if there's people there go to the side and do it like do you know what i mean it's so 
it's it infuriates me it's just so annoying i can't okay next one so i have got a fair amount of trains in my life and something that has always always annoyed me is when one person takes up a four seater place on a train four seater place really caitlin <laughs> but basically when there's a four seater and one person takes it and there's other seats on the train i've seen this happen so many times honestly like i've been with three people so there's four of us all together and there's loads of seats on a train but there's not another four seater and i've just seen one person sit in there and it's just like there's two seats available there's a two seater available right next to you why did you have to choose the four seater when you're one person do you know what i mean i just i can't and i'm going to london with my friend on saturday you best believe i'm gonna vlog it but yeah i'm going to london with my best friend on saturday to be a tourist again if you haven't seen my last vlog and if i see one person sitting on a four seater i'm gonna you know, just i'm gonna be so angry like i'm just gonna be so pissed i'm not gonna say anything because that's really rude like i wouldn't say anything like if you want to sit there sit there but it's quite disrespectful when there's like like four people that want to sit there and you know have to be separated i don't know i just it annoys me <laughs> okay so the next thing is something that's quite i wouldn't say deep but i don't know it's negative people and i'm a very positive person where i always look on the positive side of things this video totally contradicts that <laughs> but anyway i'm a really positive person and being around negative energy being around negative people bring me down so much and that's when you need to that, that's why you need to surround yourself with positive people because you will be happy and i mean i've had toxic friendships in the past where they're just negative all the time it really brought me down and i always try to you know like be the positive person in the group and just uplift the mood but it never worked because they were just so negative like there's nothing to be like really negative about you're alive you have food you have water you have clothes you have everything that you could ever ask for or everything you could ever need to live and i don't know i just there's something about negative people that i just well it's the negative energy that i can't stand it's like not there's something i know what it is but i don't know it's just something that's always gotten to me like how can you live your life being so negative all the time i don't understand it it, it really just bugs me my tummy just rumbled i don't know if you heard that oh my god i need to eat some mango i have mango in the fridge boy yeah just always be positive because a positive mind leads to a happy life and i can honestly tell you that from experience so just be positive and you'll be a lot happier okay i have two more things on my list and this one is oh my god it's something that's really frustrating and it's when you think there's a free parking space but you get closer and it's a tiny freaking car like a ka or something like oh my god like i'll try and insert a picture if you don't really get what i'm talking about but you're like driving looking for a, a parking space in a really busy car park and you see that there's like a gap in between these two cars and you're like yes like, i got a parking spot i'm gonna park here close to the store you drive closer and you look to your left and it's a tiny ka or just a tiny car it is so frustrating like screw you tiny ass cars enough said <laughs> last one okay right this is something that has always annoyed me and i can't sleep when there's noise so i mean it's different when it's like raining and storming i actually find that quite relaxing but when there's noise so someone talking the tv going off and to me it's just disrespectful anyway but like if someone's talking while you're trying to sleep but i don't know i don't know if this is the same with everyone like it just needs to be dead silent when you're sleeping but when you can just hear mumbling or the tv it is so frustrating because i just want to sleep i have school tomorrow morning i just want to sleep i have to get up early tomorrow i want to sleep even if i don't have to get up early and i can have a lie-in i want to sleep like sleep is so important to me and when someone messes that up <gasps> like when someone messes with that girl like i just it is so annoying and disrespectful so yeah 
so this video has put me in a good mood woo no i am actually in a good mood i just needed to let that all out and i thought you guys would want to hear so that was it for today's video thank you so much for hearing me complain about things hopefully there won't be another video like this if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps me out and subscribe if you wanted to the button's just down there and yeah i need to do the notification shout out i think i'm gonna do two people today just because i'm feeling generous so let's go on to my last video so the first notification shout out goes to sug the pug i like your name i always see you commenting on my videos thank you for that thank you for subscribing and thank you for having my notifications on and the next shout out goes to please forgive me if i get this name wrong but to sani jackson to sani i truly apologize if i didn't say that right but the shout out goes to you. Thank you for having my notifications on. Thank you for subscribing. And you said Illy, Illy too. <laughs> if you want a shout out in my next video, then all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on my post notifications, and then comment when you have done it. And you might get a feature in my next video. You never know. So yeah, thank you again for watching this and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Six, seven,